What is up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to another app review. And this app is for an app called iTrade and what it is is pretty much a stock market simulator. And I got this because I wanted an application to a, uh, because online I'm in investopedia.com and I wanted something for my iPod to uh, you know simulate trading stocks, pretty much pretend I had a lot of money when I actually don't. So I got this and I got this because this is one of the top rated ones and uh, most reviewed in the pretty much the app store. So what it is pretty much you start with your interface and this is your main portfolio. Right here you can see any stocks you have and how they're performing. And you see the most thing, uh, the one thing that annoys me the most is this little ad right smack dab in the middle of it. And this is incredibly annoying first of all. And they also have it on the news section. Um, I think on the clubs, yep, there's an ad right there. And I mean, there are just ads all over this app and it's really annoying. But how you do this is you pretty much go to symbols and you scroll until the stock you want to buy and then say you want to buy um, advanced micro devices, AMD. So go ahead and click that and now you have a little meter. If you click buy, how much you want to buy. I mean, the interface is pretty cool. But um, I can't buy right now because it's Saturday and the market's closed. But this is pretty much the interface of how you would buy and sell stocks. So all in all, what I like and don't like about this um, app, I don't like it because a lot of the stocks that I want to buy whenever I research them on the internet, um, they aren't available. They're, they only have a select um, list of symbols. Like this is only probably I'm just gonna guess like 40% of the stocks. So all the stocks that you wanna buy may not be available in here. That's what I don't like in a lot of things on level that you can buy in the real stock market, you can buy in your simulator. But this is not the case. So that's the first thing I don't like about it. And the second thing is all these annoying ads they pop up. I mean, already this screen is only like three inches big and I don't need ads taking up my entire uh, interface. So that's another thing I don't like about it. But aside from that, if you just want to get started in a stock market simulator, then this is all right. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rate this app a 5 out of 10. Just because there's too many annoying things wrong with it. And it can be so much better if they just fix a few simple problems. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some stocks and lose some money. And uh, you can check out my other videos. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. And don't forget, if you have any more apps you want me to review, then just shoot me a message or leave me a comment and I'll review them for you. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.